Hi everyone, today we're back as a homeowner. I'm picking up the camera as I just get back to house. This morning guys I took the F-250 over to a tire shop. I had to get a new tire for the Ram Cummins. This morning guys I came outside to the garage to get going on a few things and I saw we had a flat tire. So I just got us a new tire here. It was a pretty expensive fix. They couldn't repair it but uh, that's a-okay here. So why don't we head in the garage here. I need to grab the impact and the torque wrench and then we could get this all squared away here. That way uh, we could get back to doing a few projects this morning. Like always guys, there's a full mods list linked down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. Alright guys, we got the impact here, so we'll just really quickly uh, go on all uh, the lug nuts. Perfect, and before uh, we do the torque wrench here, I do want to lower it off the jack here. That way the weight is on the ground, that's the proper way to usually uh, torque wrench it. That is a pretty cool jack here. Shout out goes out to the rental man buck for making this mod here. Really do appreciate it. And that is pretty cool here. We'll put the jack back in the garage just like that. And we'll get out the torque wrench. Now I'm just going to torque this down to a proper spec here. What the manufacturer says. We got that one, that one, and we should be all set. Awesome, so we just fixed that. Now, as many of you guys know, last week we found this old Craftsman mower. I did a lot of work over the last week, but before we get to this, there's a few things I want to get done. One of which is, you guys can see, I actually mowed the yard, but I used the Lizard mower. This Lizard mower r does run great here, but after an hour worth of mowing here, I just really want to quickly wash this. Get it cleaned up here before we put it back in the shed. But guys, I actually left a little bit of lawn in the backyard because I really want to see if we could get that Craftsman mower fired up today and see if we could cut some grass with it here. I did a lot of work to the engine and I will talk about that when uh, we do that here. And then after this, we actually have to run on over because I really want to uh, see if uh, we can uh, pick up a quad. Now guys, we have several toys here at the property, but one thing we do not have is a quad, and I actually would really like one. I would use it quite a bit around the house even, and I definitely would take it camping with us and all different trips like that. So that seems to be good right about there. Why don't we get this door closed here, and on the way over there, we're actually going to stop by the next door neighbors. He just bought a lake boat, and we're actually going to go uh, out boating together, I think in the coming week or two, which should be super exciting. But he's right next door. I think we can see the top of the lake boat. So we'll stop by, check that out quick as we head over to check out some new quads. The F-250 Tremor is a pretty sweet truck here. Now this does have the power stroke engine, which is pretty neat here. I've, I'm a big fan of it so far. And I just really do like the off-road package here on it. But you guys saw a few weeks ago, I saw and I showed you guys on video that my neighbor picked up a Chevy High Country. But look at this lake boat. This thing is sweet. This looks to be like 30, 35 feet long. Now big shout out goes out to Lance Modding for sending this over. The link to his page will be down below. This looks like a pretty cool brand and a make and model. Wow, this thing looks sweet up here. You guys can see all the custom uh, stitching in the seats here. Wow, this thing is meant to have a great time out on the lake here. Wow. That is pretty cool. So I'm going to have to plan a week that we could get everyone together and have some fun boating. But let's head on over to the dealer. I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far. My day's been pretty good here. The weather is getting warmer and warmer, which is super exciting. And I'm just excited for what's to come here. We have a lot of cool mods here in the works. And I definitely have some really cool video ideas uh, that are in the works. Like I mentioned guys, I want to buy a quad here. Now specifically, I've been looking at Honda quads here. I have had a Honda dirt bike before and I think I just really want to go with Hondas. I did call the local dealer in town. They said they have a handful in stock and uh, they do have some pretty reasonable discounts right now since uh, they're uh, just trying to sell everything they have in stock here to just make room for more that's on the way. And look at that guys, they have several out front here. So this looks like, uh, whoa, that looks pretty cool here with the uh, color scheme on it. That must be some sort of wrap. I'm not sure that is paint. We got a standard one, red. I actually kind of like this one here. You guys can see standard wheels. 
This one looks like it has upgraded wheels here, kind of like that blue as well. And then we have all blacked out. Whoa, that looks cool. Different wheels on this one. Let's see pricing here. Wow, that is expensive. This one's a little bit cheaper. Oh, this one's the cheapest so far. And yeah, that is just too much here. This wrap alone is like $700 here. So I'm thinking, I really want this one. I'm going to go see if I can make a deal. Maybe get a four or $500 discount. Maybe throw in a, uh, maybe a free oil change. Something like that here. But let me see what I can do. Because I really want to buy this. Guys, I just bought this Honda Quad here. I did get about a $450 discount here. I got a Honda hat and a Honda shirt, which is super exciting here. Now it's all ready to go. We'll just quickly rip around the parking lot with this thing. I am super, super excited for this. I actually do want to do some yard work. We could use it for fertilizing. I just uh, put the fertilizer spreader on the back here. But let's see here if we could get this up in the truck. We'll lift the front tires on. And then we just have to lift the back a little bit more. Right about there. Should be perfect. Good. And we'll put a few tie-down straps here on. We don't want to lose that going down the side of the road. And we'll get the tailgate closed. A quad like this, guys, I think is a really good purchase here for us. And like I mentioned, we could use it for yard work. I, want, I do want to go camping and even days out on the lake here. We could use it to rip around the parking lots, uh, which would be pretty cool here. But let's get on back here to the house. We'll have some fun with this. But I think, guys, it's time to see if we could get that mower up and running. As a homeowner, guys, there's always something that needs to uh, be done, something that needs to be fixed. As you guys saw this morning, I woke up to the truck having a flat tire, which is no problem. You just have to be ready for anything, I guess, when you own a house. And make sure uh, you do uh, keep in mind uh, the price of everything here because it is expensive to own a house. Uh, but let's see if we get this rolled on out. I do have a set of rams here, but sometimes, guys, I just find it easier uh, just to unload this by hand, which is no problem. And uh, it, it is only a few extra minutes here, but uh, here we have it. This Honda Quad, guys, is going to be so, uh, so much fun here. I really do like it quite a lot here. I'm not sure exactly what the model is, but this thing sure is great. But, guys, I really want to see if we could get this thing started. So, like I mentioned, guys, I did a full engine rebuild. I opened up the engine. I made sure everything was good to go. So, we have all new oil, all new fluids. I rebuilt the carburetor, cleaned that, and I put a new battery here. I actually had to resolder a wire uh, since it looks like critters ate that wire here. But I wanted to save the first start if we get it a start for the camera here. So let's see if we could hop on in and see if this thing fires up. It looks like we are getting a little bit of a crank. I do see lights on the dash here, which is a really good sign. Let's give it a few more cranks. I could hear the engine. Let's uh, give it a little bit more. We'll put it uh, to full throttle on the engine. There we have it, guys. We got it started up here. I just took my foot off the uh, brake pedal, and we got rolling here. Let's see. We'll put it in gear three. And let's see. Oh, look at that, guys. We got the old Craftsman mower up and running here. This thing is sweet. That is super exciting that we got this thing fired on up here. Now, let's see. Can we get the blades fired up? Look at that, guys. We got the blades turned on here. I did have to put a few new belts with that in. All these tires you guys uh, see are new here. I did put some new paint on the rims as well. Wow, that is super, super exciting. Well, guys, I think it's time to do the real test here. Why don't we come back here uh, to this area that I did leave here. Let's see if this mower uh, can uh, cut the grass. Let's lower the deck just a little bit here. And let's see. Look at that. Wow. In one week, guys, we completely got this old Craftsman mower up and running. That is super, super exciting. I am definitely really excited here. I can't wait. Uh, to see what uh, is next here with this mower. I mean, rebuilding it took quite a bit of hours. I spent like two, three hours a night. I was running to get parts at the local uh, parts store. But wow, this thing is sweet. This mower, guys, we found in a 20-year-old barn find. So to be sitting for 20 years, it definitely uh, needed quite a bit of work here, which I put in. Now we got it up and running here, which is super exciting. So let me know what you guys want me to do with this because... 
I really do like this mower. I definitely want to keep it around, but I also maybe want to look at maybe getting a new craftsman mower. I think that would be a pretty neat thing, but guys, I'm going to finish up mowing here, and then I'm just going to check this out here, run it through its paces, and make sure everything works here on it. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.